Hey love bugs, it's Riles and back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. Stop. It is truly appreciated. So if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know moi. And if you feel like the videos are uplifting, give you a good vibe that you truly need it, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. So much love to you. Bless you. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Any vibes that you need to keep you continuing on your path of purpose, you know, whether it's healing, guidance, clarity, uh, cutting cords, you know, protect from negativity. I'm saying a million times fold all out there with you. You know, let the innocent vibe just come get <laughs> come come towards you. Anybody who's coming in with any nefarious vibes, negative vibes, anything to seek, destroy, distract, or disconnect. Hey, everything on here, all this, all that is highly loved, strongly protected, and heavily guided. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, the main thing uh, sent to you to destroy, sent to destroy you will be the same thing that will build you up. It's true. You know, God was like, God put us, I don't know why. I know he be trying to, you know, really touch our heaven gate. You know, our, you know, our inner uh, gangster. You know, really be trying to put us through some stuff. God be like, look, I'm healing, not healed. Pray with me. Don't play with me. Half hood, half holy. Don't do that. It'll be a whole different story. It'll be one of those different things in your life. And you're really trying to understand, wait a minute, this is my truth. This is this is what you drop on me. How, how am I going to be able to do these things? You look, you are distracted. Go sit down. Sorry about that, y'all. My cat's in here. You know, you go through some stuff into your life. It'll be one of those things where you really just don't understand. How am I going to be able to heal from this? What, you know, I'm still trying to digest this. Where you're basically telling me I've been living a lie within my life this whole time. And, you know, and, and then now you drop this, you know, these scare tactics of truth on me. you might, like, yeah, we did. So I, I need you to go ahead and fix this. And, you know, it's going to be something very big and beautiful, you know, when once you get through all that. And it's like, okay, I'm getting, one at a time. One at a time. You know, we really don't need to be getting through some stuff. And you're really just trying to understand, you know, these are the different things that traumatize me in so many ways. You know, how am I going to be able to get through this? How am I going to be able to get through that? There'll be a lot of times where you're going through different things into your life. You're trying to find your purpose. You're trying to find things that you really zen with, you know, you mesh with. And it'll be different things. You may have had this big plan for your life, you know. It's like, tell you want guys to laugh, tell them your plan. You know, it'll be different things where, you know, I had you to go down these certain roads. I need you to get this type of experience of information. I'm, you know, I'm soaking you up like a sponge of knowledge. And these are the different things that's taking place in the world. You knew there was something about the world you want to be able to do something, you know. You know, when we were kids, I want to be a firefighter, a policeman, I want to be a superhero, all these different things. And it's just like, we, I think we are part of the DC Marvel comics and stuff like that because baby, <laughs> you like dental, you know, Morbius and all different, different stuff like that that's taking place into our life because there's so many things that are going on in the world today where you just want to shelter yourself off you know even when you're in past we feel things on a deep level and that, that mess can get really intense at times and you're really just trying to understand you know we don't like how people treat others in this world every time you turn around it's something that's popping off and you know you're just really trying to you know get through this like why does people have to be this way you know why can't everybody just love each other why is so many people just trying to you know knock folks down and stuff like this this and that you know you, we have a million and one questions going through our mind especially if you know you were the type of person well I think it's any impact we don't like injustice you know we get angry we, even if it's not directed at us we, we take it personal like, you know, why would you do this to a person, you know? These are the different things that's taking place in life, you know? And they always say, you know, we are here to change the world. And it's like, just not one person. But it's just like, that. you know, there's so many different things that negative, you know, negativity can spread like wildfire, you know? Uh, viruses spread like that why can't we send love that way too and for us to be able to do that like I said in my video from last what was it yesterday no day before yesterday you know you are becoming what you want to see in the world and you had to be able to do that because there's so many things in this world where people feel like it's impossible for something beautiful to come out of a 
ugly situation or ugly moment and it's not exactly true you know there'll be a lot of different times you know we can't question God's motives or why things happen in this way but there was a thing about you when you got hit with whatever truth value it was and it just shook you to that point because there's a lot of y'all you know you've been with me you know my story you know if not you know if you stay a little bit longer you may stumble up on some stuff that went through and I had to be able to use that situation to be able to open myself up to us you know towards this I never knew you gonna be you know on, on YouTube telling people th these are the different things that I'm going through in life which really traumatized me and things that you know I'm still allowing myself to heal from those different situations but from that you know from the tragedy that was taking place hold on y'all my cat is very distracting hold on just a second okay y'all I'm back you know this is the devil want to do all that she's doing too much right now but we go through different things in our lives and it, it can be very very traumatizing different things like how did you get through this you know how are you overcoming these different things that took place in your life and there's many of y'all that I've connected with where you tell me your life story or different things that actually led you to the point of discovering you know you may be a twin flame well I, everybody got a twin flame but um or you know you're a Wiccan or you're you're a seer or you're a, a Anchurian all these different things Hayokas and stuff like that you're finding out about yourself through these types of trauma. You know, in my situation, I'm like, shoot, I, I go back and I look how many, like, most of my videos are about Hayokas. And I'm just like, do you want me to talk about anything else? No, you, you just stay on that. Because there's many of us that are awakening, and it's like we're the hybrids, you know. And it's like, what do you, what do you mean, hybrids? This, like, look, this is like go way back in the day with like Mayans and stuff like that, to where whatever God about to take place in life, they cannot be able to know. They need to hide you in plain sight. You know, nobody can't know about you until it's time for them to know about you. And there's a lot of different times where people are like, well, Roz, you know, I don't know if I'm Hayoka, you know, I'm from Scotland, or, you know, I'm, I'm Siberian, or, you know, I'm Pakistanian, whatever, and stuff like that. I said, it don't matter. If you were guided to be able to know this, God hits you up in the different way, places where automatically, if you know where the Lakota tribe is, and, um, you know, uh, all the different other tribes and indigenous, you know, uh, labels, whatever you want to call it. Um, you had to be that one that don't fit the criteria. That's the reason why he got you in that way. Because it's like if people are hit to the game on knowing, you know, because with Hayoka, we're sacred. There's a lot of things that we don't talk about. You know, it's sacred, what it's supposed to be. But it's just like they had their little switch. Switch a rule, you know. You're doing different things, and it's just like, and it just seemed like all the tribes, you know, the Cherokee and the Chippewas, and everything is get, just getting, you know, all up into something. I don't know what it is, but you know, <laughs> it'll be different times. I'll be seeing different things, and it's just, you know, it's beautiful when I can sit up here and say, hey, you know, you had a fire ritual. You're starting to see yourself with all these different war paint, or it'll be different times. You, you know, you feel like you had these really vivid dreams where you're you're really fighting against darkness, and all of a sudden these these daggone passages it's like you got rite of passages they'll come up just from you saying certain words and it comes up like that or you got really high connections with the owls the wolves the fox you know all these different things is coming up you're going through these different fire rituals where you can be speaking your 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 see your view and it'll be just certain you know the smoke will come up and form something like it's you know it's like you're telling the story through the rituals and all those different things, you know, and it's like, I think I've been doing um, Hayoka, I think, for like four years. <laughs> I'm really trying to remember, because I, don't got, I mean, most of my videos are all about that. It didn't start off that way, but all I do is talk about Hayokas. And it will be just different things that I was guided to talk about, because there's so many people that are not knowing this is what they are, you know. And it, it was just like different things like that, where I'm like, where is this coming out of the blue? That's what we mean. It's coming out of blue because it's like you know having dreams about being in a fire ritual. And anybody ever seen uh what, what was it? It was kind of like um if anybody's ever seen like Poltergeist where uh the uh you know Native American guy I forgot his name God rest his soul he was in there trying to protect little little, little Caroline you know and it'll be different times like that and, you know pass around peace pipes and all of a sudden you know start telling stories and. You know, the fire will change different colors and all stuff like that. You're seeing these different things. And it'll be, you have that guide that, you know, communicates through you in many vibes that you can't communicate with other people like that except for you. So these are the diff different things that's taking place where you're you're really trying to 
you know, see where, where do I fit in this world? Because I always stuck out. You know, even where you were talking, when you know you were doomed from the freaking womb, you know, and people like I talk, Rosalind. I mean, when I tell you, I've been in and out of hospitals since I was like brought into this world. You know, it was a shock of a shock. I'm like, why the hell am I here? <laughs> you know, these different things is going on. But it was just like, where did this come out of the blue? They were like, no, nah, it ain't out of the blue. You were, you were just getting prepped. I'm like, why am I just now finding out about this? You know, I had dreams about it. You know, I had my different watchers over me, and they were like, Rosalind, what kind of dreams you are having? And it was just like, you know, talking to a chief, you know, we're sitting out here, and it'll be a sacred place where they do these meetings, you know. And they even call me a little hey and I'm like, did you try to call me a hoe in your daggone mother, uh, your mother language? This is not what we're about to do. You know, it's just comical. You know, it's like, no, little hey okay. I'm like, well, yeah, look, can you please stop calling me that? You know, because I'm being very, you know, I don't know if that's supposed to be endearing or whatever, but don't call me that. You know, be funny. But it would be different things. I'm like, why am I just now finding out about this? What, why do y'all, I didn't even, I signed up for that? You know, I don't know what it is. It was like, sweetie, no, you've been prepping this, this when you were little. You know, you were born around a reservation. You see different hats they put on your head and these different bracelets and stuff that, you know, they made you put on, you had to wear them for a certain amount of time. You know, my mom always had me all under these places. And it's just like, it unfolded my life. And I'm just like, really? You know, it'd be different things. Like when you were growing up, it will be adult things that's being said. And you're like, yeah, you know, you're a kid. So you're not really seeing the different things or understanding at a deeper level about it till you grow up. And then all of a sudden, it's like you open to a whole new world. You know, and the different things you're understanding, like, yeah, I remember this, you know, I used to have turquoise bracelets and stuff like that, or to put something on my back and then my mom had to take it off at a certain time and put this headdress on and have it on there for a few minutes and tell them what I saw. All that, it was just out there. Didn't know. But all these different things, you know, sent into my life, you know, really understanding because I had, you know, the gift of sight. For, you know, being a conduit as well as an anchor, you know, different things like that where stuff, it gets very intense, <clears throat> excuse me, get very intense on different things that's taking place and I'm just, you know, understand why my life had to be that way, you know, because it would be different things that I see that I connect strongly with, you know, especially since I've been here on this, on this daggone platform, there's so many people I'm connected with and their family will pass over and the next thing you know, the family will tell me something, there's no way of me knowing. I said, they come to me, I'll come to them, you know, there'll be different times where they'll open up and say, you know, I need you to help my family with this and tell them this, this, that, and the third and they know you're not lying and they know they can trust you because these are situations where they have trust issues because they went so, through so much trauma and I want them to know that you can be that guide for them as they be a guide for you and all these different things you're awakening up you know be seeing different things where you're seeing empaths coming out the dirt you know it's like what are those you're coming out of it you're coming out of the darkness you're starting to learn more about yourself and it'll be some different things where it's very traumatizing where you are so extra sensitive the more you cut cords the more you allow yourself to be open to the universe to be teachable the more things you move forward in you're not worried about judgment you don't even, you know be like asking the guests like uh Y'all seeing this will be different things that, you, you know, it, it don't feel natural, but you weren't born here to be natural. You were here not to be just any other person. You were here to be extraordinary. You were here to put a situation where you're putting a whole dip on the program to where we're about to hold, you know, erase all this stuff, learn from it, and build something else up from it. Because there's so many different things you have gone through. You had to go through the hellish situations because a lot of times people feel like, you know, nothing good can come out of a situation of what you have. But it's like, we, we it, it, what makes it so bad, you know, when somebody says something good about something, you know, they second guess it, you know. But if it's something bad, they'll, oh, they'll believe that all day, you know. And these are the different things that, that you know, God puts you on this type of a, uh, a growing, you know, um, pedestal. To where you know they're guiding towards people towards you you know just for you to be able to help but these are the different things you know where dark lands you know you go to the land of the further you know people will have like what is the land of the further you don't know you start start smelling sulfur you know stuff that smells rotted it, it's thing you know different things like that where you're, you're getting in touch with that dark night dark night of the soul but you're getting uh, all those different dark nefarious things that you had to go through or you have them because I tell people you got to be very prayed up Because the more you ascend everything got balance to it. You know, it's like you're being tracked all the time 
you know, you got these little things. I forgot the word for it, but it's kind of like, you know, you, you had this, uh, God, dog, I, I can't remember the word, but it'll be like you have a doppelganger. You know what I'm saying? You have a good part of you, but there's another one that's not so good, you know, or those different things. Once you ascend, the bad ones ascend too. Because you'll start noticing different things where you were having like spiritual awakenings. All of a sudden, you start having massive bruises. Or there'll be different times where you, you don't lost all type of memory on certain things because you're finding out new stuff about yourself. But these dark things don't want to make sure that you don't know that, you know. So they try to mess with your, you know, they try to mess with your thought, your thought uh, concepts and stuff like that. So these different things is taking place. You know, you're growing in a lot of ways. But at the same time, you have to understand, you know, you you're a tracker. You know, you're being tracked. Every time you ascend, those dark things is coming to sin too. You, ha you can't have one without the other, you know. And these are the more different things you go through. Up, up, ugh. Intense ascension. You know, you're going through those different things when you start cutting away from things that's no longer serving you, allowing yourself to be open towards knowledge of the Akashic Records. There's probably people been, you know, telling you, hey, you need to go, you know, check out your history. You know, get in touch with, in tune with yourself. Because you're going through all these different things already as it is. So it's guiding you towards being in your Akashic Records. There's different things, you know, that's taking place into your life where you have to understand the spiritual side of you. Because there's a lot of times that we're labeled as these being certain kind of mental labels. You know, you're schizophrenic, you're bipolar, you know, ADD. You know, I got ADD. <laughs> CPTSD and o OCD. All, all these different things is taking place in my life where there's so many different things that take place into your life where you are multi-gifted and these things are going on to your life but it'll be just those times where the devil does not want you to ascend on that vibration he is a very jealous entity you know he's very jealous about those different things because he wants everybody to breathe in chaos. They want everybody against each other. They want everybody segregated. They want everybody, you know, sitting up here, you know, destroying every living thing. Judge people by what color they are or where they're from or what kind of sexual orientation. All he wants to do is be chaotic with that. But these are those different times where we're being, you know, we're allowing ourselves to, you know, tune up to those different things and we all can live here. We can all, you know, Habitate or whatever, it ain't gotta be like that. There'll be different times. The devil don't want you knowing all that. You know, you as soon as you went through that spiritual awakening, how many people did you see drop down like flies? All of a sudden they disappeared out your life. All of a sudden you get extra sensitive around people that you usually did not get sent to. You know, you can be around and it really didn't make you stutter. You can be a very outspoken person. And then all of a sudden you get around energies and you start tripping over your words and stuff like that. And it's like spirits in tuning you. Like, hey, watch out, you know, or hey, it'll be different people that you, you know, you sense out and be certain vibes that you, you make you want to haul ass a different way in you know, all those different situations. But there's part of you that is awakening, you know, and it's going to be that one that's just like, ooh, ooh, that's the one that you don't want to mess with. And you getting real in tune for that. But the only way you can have been able to get through this um, or get to know that part of you, something very drastic, tra traumatic had to happen for you. For you to be in touch with that part of your journey. That's awakening a part of yourself that has been waiting for that acknowledgement. It wanted you to strongly connect with this. This is a part of yourself that is that warrior. It is that animal of many jacks of trades. Like you carry so many daggone gifts. It ain't funny. But they can't have you. It's like you're in a human experience. You can't be doing all that mess at one time. So, you know, it, we ain't... We ain't we didn't quit like that. You know, we over there in spiritual land. Hey, we have about like a 1,500 daggone gifts. And it'll be just like a, hey, it's just like a cold. Take some Robitussin and you'll be okay. It'll be one of those things. But since we're like this, you know, it only it intensifies when you heal. It intensifies when you, you break away from things that's no longer serving you. It intensifies when you start cutting cords with different things that constantly drain you. It's, you know, it keeps you scattered. And these are the different things that's coming on to where you're seeing it's, it's like a whole new life that you are open up to that you never knew was there. And for that, you know, this is like because the devil already knows. It's like, no, that one got light. That got potential. I'm seeing all these type of daggone entities up in here that's really going to really just shake, you know, shake a tail feather all through your program of you and your growth. But you had to be able to face those things, you know, be just these different times. Where a lot of times, like, you could be a person that is on addictions that have self-medicate, 
you know, when it deals with your pain, your trauma, all these different things, because we're trying to make you fall back into those old ways. Because that's how the devil opens up to you. If you, you know, you're doing drugs and all this stuff or you're self-harming, it wants you in that. Because when you go through that spiritual awakening, it'll be doom and gloom. It'll be different times. It'll be like really negative, heavy thoughts. It's like, oh no, you know, nobody's gonna love you, or oh my God, they're gonna see that, and they're, you know, they're not gonna want to be around you. They're gonna think something's wrong with you. It wants to put you in a fear vibration, and this is at that time where no, he fears what you, he he fears what you, he doesn't want you to discover about yourself. So these are different things that were sent to destroy you, you know. They tried to destroy that mess, but it's like God already had your back. You already knew what a warrior was. What a warrior is a warrior. You think we go through some petty any BS? No. We go through some stuff that hits heavy. That people will run the street from. Okay? It'll be hitting like the daggone plague. You ain't about to move like that. These are the different things where it's like, yeah, I know myself. And this is what I'm going to be about myself. It's not being arrogant, condescending, you know, anything like that. But it's when you know you're sure about yourself. And these are the different things you had to go through those stages of, you know, drastic in intentions. You know, those drastic experiences because these are the part of yourself that's opening up. It will be just like a scar that you had and you never knew what the scar was. And all of a sudden, things start changing. It opened up. And then when, it's, when it opened up, it, it got you seeing and feeling all these different things you thought you, thought you knew about yourself or has been shaded off from you at a certain time. It's like you, we're all gods with amnesia until it's time for us to awaken. And these are the different things that can shake you to the core, but then I'll allow you to understand we had to keep you hidden from certain things because there's a lot of times, baby, you got some powerful stuff, but it, you couldn't even know about it at certain times until God felt like, you know what, they went through enough trauma, they went through a lot of F-ups, now it's time to wake them. You know, now it's time for you to get up because you're on a mission, but you had to be able to go through the toughest of the toughest because everything that's seen is impossible. I'm going to make it possible through you. These are the different things that's going to be taking place in life where you're going to see growth as a, as a very beautiful thing because it allowed you to, you know, allowed you to really be able to control the way you moved. And I'm controlling your situation because God only got control of that. He wants you to control the way you speak about yourself, how you speak about other people, not placing judgment. Hey, we work on that every day. You know, nobody perfect. You know, we all growing and experience and, you know, a learning experience is experience. Life imitate art imitating life. You know, you see all the different stuff that's going around right now, all the different movies that's popping off. You know, I was seeing the devil conspiracy. You know, and it was just like, wow, then I see the Pope's exorcism. You know, those are the different type of stuff that I've always been tuned into. I'm like, why well, I've been like this since I was a little kid. Love horror movies. But these are the things that I'm dealing with when, when it comes to the dark side. Because it's like when you go through the spiritual awakening, you start coming up with unknown bruises and scratches and trying to wonder where it's coming from. You can walk into a room and feel heavy, you ready to hit pavement, or you smelling goddamn rotted meat, or, you know, it felt like it died twice and came back and died again. You know, and all that sulfur smell, and you wonder why does it feel like that? You're getting lost in time. You know, be different times you walk to the kitchen and stuff like that. And why, like, damn, what did I come in here for? You don't realize you just jumped the portal. You, <laughs> you try to really understand, like, damn, what did I come in here for? You don't jump the portal already, and you didn't even know you were doing it. Or it'll be something you'll be talking to this, you know, you space out from it and come back. You don't realize you just don't step into another vibe and didn't even know it because you're ascending rapidly you know and when you're low and you're sitting rapidly like that things start getting heavier and heavier and heavier it's like why wow, i don't cleared all this stuff out and next thing you know i got something else trying to attack me and then another and another and you're like damn i can't get a break you are leveling up you are leveling up chief so all these different things is coming in it's really showing you what a, a warrior does this one don't just stub his toe in Lord Jesus. A stub a toe can make you feel like the whole world about to come to you, especially if you hit it on the wrong thing. Whew, artichoke. But anyways, you going you going through those different things into your life and it's showing you, you know, it, it gives you a time where you where you questioning. A whole question may be a little bit timid, you know. But these are those things that's making you sure about yourself. I'm gonna put all these little things into your life, these Easter eggs. And every time you touch base with some kind of drastic stuff, some kind of tragedy, you end up awakening some part of you that you didn't know. But I had to get you in that way that it was something that if the devil got a hold of you, it's going to destroy. You know, anybody who's, you know, you, you fell short and had an any kind of addiction, as soon as you start opening yourself up to the unknown, really knowing what you are and who you were, 
who you belong to, all these things, it try to get you to go right back to your old ways. Because you were touching base with something that the devil and darkness does not want you to get in touch with. He will send all type of people to breathe fear and doubt into your life. Because these are the ones that know if you get in that right vibration, oh, you're going to make it happen, Captain. <laughs> you're really about to do that. And you are really about to show this stuff. You know, you want, you have a choice on how you choose to move in your life. Just because certain things took place in your life don't mean you can't rearrange the game. You know, you have to be able to change the rules of it. It's like things going to come test you. Baby, show them you've studied. These are the different things that's coming into your life once you be sure of yourself. Just because these go on, you're like, man, I went through this, 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 and that. And it's not even seeing yourself, you know, because there's times that we get into that part of our lives where we victim victimize our own selves or we even have pity parties for ourselves I've been there you know I've been there but these are the different things where I had to stand in the mirror and tell myself this is not going to be the thing that's going to stop you you know what you went through you don't broadcast all the different things you went through but you know what you faced you know what you overcome you know what you stood stand and still and tall and didn't even shake like that these are the different things that's going to really make you you know see yourself in a higher place these are the different things going to really show you, you know, these are the different things you don't go through. And a lot of times you can go through something that don't end well for a lot of people, but you are on a whole different mission. You had to be able to go through that. That's why it's constantly always testing your weaknesses, seeing if you understood the reasons why you had, to, you know, when they tell you to build that wall up, you know, or certain people that you disconnected from, you starting to miss. Like, yeah, you can miss them all day. But you also gonna remember why the heck you got from them in the first place. Well, it'll be different times. You you know you want to open up and take them boundaries down. But those are the times that like, no, you need to always stick, keep those up 24/7, 365. You know, be certain things that you know is not supposed to connect with you on those different things because they be trying to your harbingers. You know, as soon as you start you know you start leveling up, them harbingers want to connect with you because he wants you to stay docile. He wants you to stay low vibrational. You know, they bring people in that look like everything you want. Because they'll be like, you know, the devil knows what you want. So they'll bring it right to you to make sure you fall for that okie doke. But it'll be something on your little twitchy, your little nose, your spirit. Doesn't deliver you in some kind of way. Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Don't mess with that. That, that. That's not sent from God. That's not godly. And you're learning from all these different things in life. So, you know, there will be different things that will sent to destroy you. But those main things that sent to destroy you will help you build yourself right back up. Okay? So you keep moving. You keep praying. Stay prayed up. You have to during these days. You know, too many things happen out in the world. We need you shielded up and we need you, you know, stay up front and center. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video, y'all. I would love to get a post notification shout out to uh, Michelle. Much love to you. Welcome to the fam, S. Harris. Thank you, eternal love. Namaste. And Hillary Elizabeth, much love to you, sis. Um, if you're new to the channel, drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And as well, you know, um, have a blessed, safe week. Please be responsible and safe for everything you do. Do social distancing. Give, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, lives, frequencies. These things can really take somebody a long way. And just because you did it with positive intent, it's going to take you even further. Always stay woke. Never sleep on yourself. Know your light and your potential and your ways to overcome. God loves you and so do I. Much love. Namaste. God bless. Peace. Shalom. Later.